Next week, fans will be filling the hill once again for the start of football season. In part two, in this year's preview, members of the team discuss why having a family dynamic is important to achieving success. And as the home opener approaches, the coaches and players are eager to start the year off with a win for the first time since 2014. But of course, the big showdown on Thanksgiving is always looming in the back of their minds. Kristen Connors takes us through part two of this year's football season preview. Over the past few seasons, Needham football head coach Doug Kopsko has made it a priority to establish a new culture based off consistent hard work and dedication, but most importantly, becoming a family. We've built something here that I think I'm, I'm, I'm happy with. And, and so we just talked about culture last night. We had a big talk about it. It's really about like what we're doing daily. What we've built is great, but again, it kind of goes to that boring Belichickian every single day, like can we make sure that we are giving 100% for each other, trying to get a little bit better every day. If we can do that, we're gonna have a very successful season. So I, I think we're in the right place culture-wise, but it's gotta be something that we continue to add that brick by brick, you know, day by day. As a team, we're all close friends, not just teammates, we're all close friends. So that's worked in our favor this season, just in terms of being together, training in the off season, uh, eating together, you know, meals, whatever. So we're all really close. There definitely is a brotherhood here, um, and we're just working towards our goal of winning this season. Even in the off season, we had a huge like family because we were building it, having workouts, and we did the seven on seven league and everything like that. So just the more that we're together, and the more uh, things that we do outside of practice and games, even practice and games as well, but just the more to work together and spend time and overcome adversity is just a huge part of that family. The season kicks off at home versus Natick on Friday, September 8th. It's become a yearly tradition to lead off with the Red Hawks, and this year Needham is confident it'll go their way. Natick's always a great team, uh, very competitive. That should be a really good game. We have a lot of returning stars this year, um, and we're ready to go. We're ready to beat Natick. Um, it's going to be a fun game. Natick is, is the best team you can start off against. They have a great story tradition. They have awesome coaches, great players. This is always a litmus test to find out who you are. So week one, you know, no fair dodging. You don't, you don't get to, to pick and choose, you know, who you're going up against. You're going up against the, the best guys out there. And I'm really optimistic about how our kids are going to go out and perform. I know our talent. I know our character. So uh, we're excited for Natick. You know, they're a great team, and, and we're really looking forward to that challenge. I'm very excited. Last year, we lost that one toughly. I think that was because we had a young team, and we were a little bit scared to begin. But this year, it's huge, and that we have home game advantage. Definitely going to play a huge factor, and yeah, I'm really excited for it. But of course, the big rivalry is always on Thanksgiving morning. Obviously, every year our goal is to beat Wellesley, so that's uh, number one. Especially after the close game we had last year, um, Wellesley's always on our mind. It's on the forefront of our mind, um, and we always want to beat Wellesley on Thanksgiving. Uh, and then, off, you know, obviously, postseason run, um, winning season, those are some of our goals this season. I actually haven't played a Wellesley game yet because I've gotten injured last two seasons, but this year I really can't wait for the Wellesley game. And they lost a bunch of seniors last year. I think it was around 20, which is going to be huge. And yeah, I'm really excited for it. It's such a big game. Everyone always talks about it, so I just can't wait. 